Hello everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day today. It is Drew here from Lone Fox. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a really fun and kind of video I've been anticipating doing for a while, but I just haven't done it because I'm kind of scared and I don't really know how to do it, but I think I might have been able to figure it out, so I'm gonna be doing it for you guys today, sort of a video. So as many of you guys know, whenever I do any form of like DIY or just like upcycling type of video, I typically show around three or four projects in a video. But today I was like, I'm gonna do one of my Pinterest to DIY style videos, but I'm gonna do it a little bit more vloggy. And I am so excited for this because this is a piece I've been wanting in my apartment for so long. But when you Google pieces like this, which are basically like Rattan cane bookshelves, they come up online for thousands and thousands of dollars. Like it is crazy the markup on these pieces, which is kind of understandable because a lot of them are hand woven or handmade or just like imported things like that I can kind of understand why they're marked up so high but at the same time like I just don't want to pay for it and I'm sure you guys don't want to either and I think I have a general idea so last night I actually went to Ikea and I picked up kind of the parts and supplies that I needed I'm gonna insert those clips here bookcase area at Ikea and this is the bookcase that I actually want to get. It's the Billy bookcase with the glass doors on it and it's actually on sale for $119 instead of $169 which is even better. But I've been looking at this and kind of seeing how I can deconstruct the glass doors and it honestly looks like the only way to do it is to legit break the glass out of these which I'm kind of scared about. For $119 I feel like I can really do something amazing with this and turn it into such a stunning piece. Okay, so I get to the section in Ikea and they don't have it anymore. It says temporarily unavailable. It's this one right here. So I came to the conclusion that I'm going to be getting the Billy bookcase, but I'm going to get the birch veneer, which is like the natural wood color because I just think the white is going to be way too stark with the cane. The birch veneer is more expensive. All the pieces combined, like the two doors and then the actual shelf itself will cost $200. So annoying they didn't have the actual beige one I wanted over here because that one was only $119. And then Here's my lovely hundred pounds of wood and glass that I have to push myself. I'm gonna run it into everything. So now that I have those pieces in my apartment, I actually need to head out and pick up a couple more materials this morning. And again, this video is going to be very vlog style, kind of like create with me, but I thought it would be more fun to do an, a little bit more of an in-depth tutorial rather than a three minute kind of voiceover tutorial for this project. Let me know if you guys would like more videos like this, but besides the point, we're going to head over to the Rattan Cane Basket Weaving sort of store. They have one right by me that Axel McKenna actually told me about, and we went to it together because we live right by each other. And so I'm going to head over there, pick up some material for the front of this bookcase. But I'd also share with you guys my outfit today because I kind of like it. It's like a shirt that I stole from my brother that has little skull and crossbones. And this is a cropped H&M flannel. I just like literally cut it off. And I'm wearing my dad jeans, but instead of wearing them cuffed like I normally do, I wore them full. And then I wore a shoelace here and some Nikes. So I know you're probably not that interested, but I thought I would share it anyways. All right, guys, here it is. The cane and basket supply. This car's for sale. I think it's good. This store has literally the most cane ever. Look at all of it. It goes all the way back to there. And I actually found one in the reduced section. So it's going to be half off, which is amazing to do some edging with, which I think will look really nice. Okay, guys. So I just got out of the store. Such a cool store, by the way. And I'm in my car now. I just wanted to share with you what I got. So I got this like cross hatch sort of pattern. I like this a little bit more because I think I'm going to be adhering it over the top of glass. So it's going to minimize the holes that you're going to be able to see through the glass, which you're going to see what I'm talking about in a minute. A seven foot section of this that I can then cut in half and use on each of the doors so this total normally would have been hundred and twenty dollars but it was only sixty dollars so that's a pretty good savings of course um and this is a lot of material typically something as big as this typically a lot of people wouldn't be covering or making something rattan as large as this that's why these online are literally thousands and thousands of dollars and then i also picked up these pieces here which i don't even know what these are called but they're basically little small wood sections that i'm going to kind of use as edging so i'm going to go to target really quickly and pick up some adhesive and then head back home that's right to the Target, I'm in the parking lot, but basically the only glue that it looks like will work if I want to adhere this rattan material to glass is the Loctite like epoxy super glue, which sets really quickly, which is also nice. 
So it looks like this is a epoxy, an instant mix epoxy that bonds metal, wood, ceramic, stone, glass, tile, and most plastics. So we have glass and wood. I'm back home now and I wanna share with you guys the base of the door of this bookshelf. So this is the Oxberg door and I'm gonna link all the exact Ikea things I use below for you guys. Glee, when I went online and kind of first started brainstorming this idea, I personally thought that these doors would come unconstructed because everything from Ikea does and you can construct them back together. So I was like, that is amazing because then I can remove these glass panels and put the rattan cane inside of them. But that is not the case because they come pre-constructed already like this. The reason I got this cane is because the holes in this cane, as you can see, are much smaller than your traditional like kind of circular cane and you won't be able to see the shininess of the glass through and hopefully it would appear as if there's just cane in the door. So that is kind of like my brain process at the moment. I'm hoping that this will look good. I don't want it to look like I glued it on top of glass at all, but if I can get the look of it as if it's cane on there, it's just a hack upcycled Ikea piece. So what I started off by doing for this project was firstly measuring the inset of the glass door. So I used a ruler to measure how big the glass window panel was and it was 11 and 7 eighths by 35 and 3 quarters of an inch. So that is exactly what I wanted to cut out of this rattan material. And the great thing about this like crosshatch pattern is that it's almost on a grid. So once you find your first line, you can just follow it all the way down and it creates a perfectly straight line for you because you're kind of cutting on a grid, which was really nice. And so what I did was I just measured it out to the exact size and I cut out my first panel just to make sure that it fit perfectly in this inset and then I laid a couple of books on top that way it just kind of held it in place while I moved on to my next step. So I have it underneath the books here and a lot of you guys might have been asking Drew what did you get those like long sticks for these ones here that were kind of coiled up. So these I'm actually going to be using to finish off the inside section. So how I want to do this is I actually want to put the epoxy glue kind of on top all the way down here and then sandwich on top of it this little piece of wood material all the way along the outside edge. So I am not gonna lie, that epoxy was a challenge. It did not cure as quick as it said it was going to. I put all this heavy stuff on the edge to hold it because I just, didn't have enough hands to go down the whole entire thing. So I literally was like, what can I use that's quicker drying? And I went into my craft area and I have these Gorilla hot glue sticks, which are like five times more dur durable than a normal stick. I'll link these below for you guys. But I looked at the back and it literally says, Gorilla hot glue sticks provide a long-term hold on hard and bottom surfaces like metal and glass. And it says that these, this works for glass, wood, plastic, metal. So. I'm going to test this out. I have my hot glue gun heating up right now. Okay, I just did a test. You can literally kind of see some of the residue on here because it took me a minute to rip off the piece. I think this is gonna work great. So I'm actually gonna use the Gorilla Hot Glue instead of the epoxy. I think this first round of epoxy is glued, but I'm gonna start by gluing down this section here um, and then moving my way up and then gluing on like the edging. Guys, I just finished one panel and how perfect does this look? I swear this literally looks like it's from the store. I cannot believe I just did this. This panel looks insanely perfect. Literally once I got the hot glue and this stuff is, that is like strong. I'm literally pressing like very hard. This is super strong. There's no adhesive in the center of course, but it is all around the edge and then it's encased in this nice little wood casing. And so now I'm basically gonna be repeating this on all four panels of the door and hoping I'm not gonna mess up. So let's continue.
I am so happy with how this is turning out so far. I just finished one door completely. Look how perfect it looks. It was so simple. I swear to you guys, it looks incredible. And honestly, if you want to see the backside too, in case you're curious of what it looks like, it looks like this. Pretty good. I am so happy with how this is turning out so far. I'm gonna go grab the other door from downstairs and probably just do a time lapse of me covering that door. But once I got the first panel done and like kind of brainstormed and uh, test shooted everything, this second one only took me probably about 20 minutes to do. So nothing too crazy at all. And I'm gonna go get the next door and repeat the process. Something I can and will say was the most insane time saver and just such a great item were these Gorilla hot glue sticks. I'm going to link these from Amazon below. They were super affordable. You get 45 of them in here as well. I'm just going to be using these for every single project from now on because they are the strongest bonding hot glue stick I've ever used. So I highly suggest them in the description box for you guys. I actually have to go to a quick video shoot, but when I get back, I'm going to finish up this project. I'm really excited. We're going to assemble the bookshelf portion, probably style it a little bit, put the doors on it, see what it looks like like fully in my room and wow I'm just very very excited for this so the doors are here they're chilling I'm gonna let them like cure for a while because even though it is hot glue I feel like it could take like a while for it to really just bond even though it's literally fully stuck right now I'm gonna film the quickest outro ever. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so happy with the outcome of this project. And I would love to know if you guys would like more videos like this. I feel like this was kind of a little bit more of a vlog style DIY. And I can definitely do more of these, but maybe for larger scale projects like the one that I just shared with you guys, because I feel like this project just needed a little bit more explanation as opposed to a traditional one of my DIYs where it's like three minutes with voiceover, you know? So let me know, did you guys stick through the video? Was it interesting to you? Do you think you learned some tips? Whatever it might be, leave comments, constructive criticism, whatever it might be in the comment section below and I will catch you guys all in my next video I look haggard at the moment so have an amazing day don't forget to subscribe to my channel and get your Lone Fox merch on lonefox.com